Good morning everyone, we are Group G and this is Create This, a study of user generated content. My name is Magda Boba, I'm a lecturer in media and communications here at MMU and uh, this particular class is called Technology Audiences and Globalisation uh, and I teach that usually in the autumn term where we have a collaboration with BBC R&D. We created our coding plan based on the BBC model in order to identify the themes and trends throughout our research. Through combining the results from our empirical data, our literature and our statistics, it became clear that socialness is one of the main themes throughout our research. The student conference is the outcome of 12 weeks work, so one term uh, worth of work for our final year students. They get given briefs by BBC R&D around a number of topics uh, to do with media audiences, uh, digital trends, and um, they work in groups. We usually have groups of four and five, and uh, they have to do background research, so literature search. They have to do uh, their own empirical work, so they go out doing focus groups, interviews, observations of people using media and digital technology, and they have to relate all of this back to something we call the BBC model. It's a model that the BBC have developed around media and audience behaviour, and we're testing it for them. And then at the end of the 12 weeks, the students have to present their findings, uh, we usually do it as um, a presentation conference session. Sometimes we do poster sessions uh, and we have members of the BBC team attending as well. And this year we invited um, people we know from the industry, digital industry. Since the progress presentation, we reviewed our aims and objectives. So our aim is um, to investigate how 18 to 25 year olds relate to the BBC's use of brands and celebrities? Well, the students um, all have to do a presentation halfway through the term. It's like a short progress presentation. And uh, then at the end, the students do their proper presentation. So we were fortunate enough to do it in the shed this year. So it was more public and felt more special to the students and they presented that as groups. Then each group member has to write up an individual report uh, on one area of the project. So the mark that they get at the end is a combination of a group mark and an individual mark. The members of the BBC team, they were involved uh, at several points during the term. So at the start of the term, we had a guest lecture by one of the BBC um, team members. Actually, this year she couldn't come in in person, so we organised that via Google Hangouts, which went quite well. And she told the students about the work that they do um, at BBC R&D, and they told us about the BBC model, um, why they've developed it, how they're planning to use it and where basically the students' work fits in. So that made it really relevant to them um, that their results, their projects are going to feed back into what the BBC do. Then they came back for the progress presentations halfway through, um, gave the students feedback and then some members of the BBC team came back for the presentation. So there is a lot of involvement, which I, which I appreciate. And we've uh, run these projects for five years. So we had the same dedication from the BBC team throughout the five years. So which I think is really great in terms of giving the students industry relevant experience. Our main finding was that the data split people into two main demographics. Health and fitness apps were only used by young participants aged 15 to 25, while on the other hand, wearable technologies were only used by middle-aged participants aged 30 to 50s. It is noteworthy, like mentioned before, gender had no impact on the data. Having the BBC involved in the unit and in the student project, I think is really important because uh, it gives the unit relevance, um, it shows the students um, that there's a link with what the industry would like to find out, uh, what they're interested in at the moment and it gives them 
uh, some work-related experience as well and something they can put on their CV, put on their application forms, talk about uh, in, in <laughs> job interviews. I think the most successful and the most rewarding part of the unit this year was definitely the student conference in the shed, so that was the highlight. I was impressed by their use of uh, Prezi and by the confidence that they presented. Thank you for watching this Good Practice Exchange film. You can find lots more teaching ideas and resources on our website.